Hi, I'm Jordan from Kettner Creative. In this video, I'm going to show you two different ways to set up an audio mix minus. Now, before I show you those two ways, I'm going to talk about what is a mix minus. A mix minus is used if you're trying to conduct a phone interview or a video conference or something like that while using an audio mixing console. What it does is it allows you to send them the entire mix from your audio console minus themselves. The last thing you need when you're doing a Skype interview, a Zoom call, or a video call on your phone or a phone interview is for the person on the other end of the phone to hear themselves with like a two or three second delay because that's extremely distracting. It's bad enough that you're already trying to communicate with the delay, but what you don't want is that person on the other end of the line getting distracted by hearing themselves on a delay while they're trying to communicate their point. So we need to create a whole mix for them, minus themselves, and send that to them. Now, what do you need to make that happen? I'm gonna th go through everything that you need to make that happen for two different methods, but first, as a very broad stroke, you need an audio console that has an aux output. I have two different audio consoles here. I have the Yamaha MG10XU, which is a console that has an effects unit, and I have the Yamaha MG10, which does not have the effects. Now, one thing that you need to see here is the Yamaha MG10 in this top right-hand corner, it has an aux send. Over here on the Yamaha MG10XU, it has an effects send. What you need to know is that an effects send will work exactly like an aux send if your effects are turned off. So, assuming you're doing a video call and you don't want digital delay or reverb or pitch change or any of the 24 effects that are built into this board, you can turn the effects off on the mixer and you can use the effects send as an aux send. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Now that we know that the effects send is the same as an aux send, I'm going to get rid of the mixer that has an aux output so I can show you how to use this. So in the first example here, we're going to connect it to a phone. Say we do this all the time. We, we work a lot in the live event industry. So we'll have somebody come up to us with a phone and say that there's four panelists on the stage. The person on the phone needs to be able to hear all four of them and the people on the stage need to be able to hear whoever's on the phone. They need to have a discussion. So we'll have our phone. Most phones don't have a headset adapter anymore or a headphone jack. So you'll need something like this, which is a lightning to headset adapter. Now a headset adapter is different than a headphone adapter. So it has all three. It has stereo sound like a headphone and it has a mic input built all into the same connector. If you buy the official adapters from Apple, whether it's USB-C or Lightning, this is the standard. So if you buy the official ones, you don't have to worry about it. Some of the third party adapters will be cheap and they won't work in the same way. And then we have a cable like this. This cable basically breaks it out so we can feed the phone XLR and we can take stereo sound out of what is now a headphone adapter from this phone. If you want pricing or if you want to see specs on anything that you see in this video, we have it all linked in the description below. So check those links out and you can find where to get this adapter and the pricing on all the cables that we're going to use today. So here we have the headset adapter. The first thing that we're going to worry about is we're going to worry about getting this headphone jack plugged into the mixer so those who are on the stage in our fictional event can hear them. This works exactly the same way if you're doing a video stream. You want the people on your video stream to hear uh, the person on the phone as well. So we're going to connect that there. And then we're going to plug it in to input 5 and 6. So with our fictional event here, we're looking at the mixer. Let's pretend that we have four microphones. Those are all turned up. And whoever's on our live stream or whoever's on the stage or in the room with us, they want to hear who's on the phone. So all five of these knobs are turned up. Now, as we already discussed, the effects send is the same as an aux output when the effects are turned off. So we want the person on the phone to hear everybody but themselves. So we're going to turn up this effects send, which is acting as an aux send. 
and normally you'd calibrate the levels, but for the purposes of this video, we're just going to pretend that that's exactly where they need to be. Generally speaking, pointing it right at the triangle is a really great starting point that's known as zero or unity. It's where that uh, sound is the most efficient, but we don't want caller in channel 5-6 to hear themselves, so that has to stay down. Everything else, because we want to send the whole mix minus themselves, so the whole mix is turned up, minus themselves will come all the way down and come up through the output here. So now we need to connect that output to this XLR. So here we have a balanced TRS cable. We'll plug that into the effects send, which is acting as an aux send. It converts it to a balanced XLR. We'll plug that into the phone. So with this situation, we have a perfect mix minus setup where we'll be able to hear the caller on the phone and the person on the phone will be able to hear everybody but themselves. Now, what if the device that you're using doesn't have this headset adapter? The first thing I want to say about that is most new laptops, MacBooks excluded, MacBooks just have a headphone output. But a Dell XPS, for example, has a headset adapter on it. It looks like a headphone jack, but it has a little headset symbol. This uh, headset adapter cable that we recommend will work for that as well. But say you have an older laptop. If you have a laptop like this, this has a headphone output and a microphone input. So for something like this, we will unplug the phone that we were using. So the cable that was coming from the phone will now go into the headphone jack of our laptop or our computer. Plug that in. And then we need to, what we need to do next is we need to plug a microphone into the computer so the computer can hear what's on the mixer. So to do that, we're going to use the same effect send and we have this cable that goes from quarter inch to eighth inch. And yes, it's going to be mono, but generally I've never heard of anybody on the other end of a Skype call or a phone call complain about mono sound. So there you have it. It's the same approach and the same mixer settings, but you will need another cable so you can get the sound coming out of the laptop and feed the sound into the laptop. So that's how you set up a mix minus, either with a phone or a device with a headset adapter or with a computer that has the traditional line in and out uh, jacks on the computer itself. If you have any questions about this, please leave a comment in the comment section below. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. And again, if you want to see pricing or links or descriptions of anything that you've seen in this video, please check out the links in the description. Thank you for watching.